Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. A little bit more XCOM 2 today. So last time I left you with three options of stuff we could do. We have to get that engineer at some point if we can. We had three missions we could have a go at, these Gorilla Ops missions. And Indy suggested the New Mexico mission for the Me bleh, New Mexico mission for the Intel, which luckily is also the least difficult of the three as well. It does mean that this dark event, which adds two blocks of progress to the Avatar project, is still going to be around. But as we sort of mentioned, although there's only one block there, so it will. Oh my God, what happened there? It will fill up. We do have access to New Mexico now, so if it does fill up, we can just run over there pretty quickly and do that mission to knock it back down again. So not too big of an issue. And something else that Indy suggested was checking out the black market for weapon upgrades. Now, I've not looked at the black market for a long time. Avenger plotting new course. So let's run over there and just see what they've got. I've got no supplies at all, really, so... I doubt we'll get anything this time, but we should have a look and just see what sort of stuff they have. I don't recall them having weapons upgrades before, but... As I said, it's been a while since I've been there. Oh, it does, yeah. Superior scopes, auto loaders. Superior hair trigger. Oh, intra. And we can buy supplies for some intel as well. How much is this? Oh, they all cost intel. Okay. Well, that's why that would be useful then. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's already on the go, so that's probably not worth it. But. But, 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 some of these definitely would. In fact, all of them probably out of thought, yeah? Let's get all of them. And we should check that then each month, because when you sell stuff, you get credits, don't you? Not Intel, yes. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Thank you for pointing that out, Indy. Right, okay, so... To New Mexico we go. Pretty sure we have a full complement of soldiers available to us. To ensure enough of them healed up. Not sure who we've got though. So what have we got? Two sharpshooters. One ranger, two grenadiers and a specialist. And that's not bad. I wouldn't mind swapping a sharpshooter for another specialist maybe. But apart from that, that's not a bad loadout. So let's take... It's Captain the highest level. No, it's not. Okay. In which case, let's take Indy out for a second and just see if we've got another specialist available. No, we don't. No, we do not. Injured, 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 injured. Okay, cool. So. Only the one specialist, so everyone probably needs a med kit. So let's do that first. In fact, what we'll do first is we'll do... Oh, we won't do that. Come out of that. Where's make our weapons of it? I don't know. We'll do that in a second, I guess. So he's already got a grenade. Is there a grenade we can give to you? Yes. Oh, we didn't figure out if they were one use or not, did we? Um... Let's come out of that a second. I just want to pop along to the soldiers. So our grenadier who is injured. Heiter. Should have... No. Just the two plasmas. So maybe the grenades are one use. Or is it because I took everything off? Maybe it's because I took everything off. So, water punch. That's two plasmas. Which means it's deuce deuce. Yeah, it has the gas one, which is the additional radius, isn't it, I believe? Yeah. Okay. So I think that's just be... Oh no, he's got acid bomb there. Oh no, that's right. I'm very confused. Yeah, I, th I don't... I think they are multiple use. I think they're like the bullets. I think. 
think. Um, yeah, medkits all round. I might give... Well, I've only got one medkit left, in fact. So I will give JJ... So what happened to his... Ah, oh, they're there every time. Every time they're in a different place and I forget where they are. Right, tracer rounds. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I think we're good to go. We just need to check upgrades. That's got at least one. We should probably check everyone's because we missed a couple of things, didn't we? Um, if we could do it by, like, ranking, that would be useful, but I'm not sure what the order is. Looks like that's upgraded, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Ah, this is missing one slot. Three free reloads. That's insanely useful. What does this do? Chance to not cost an action for the active turn. That's super useful. And a good missed shot damage. Let's give him the auto loader. Um, you already got an auto loader, so I might give you the stock. So not so bothered by the special. Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. Not so bothered by the specialists, just because they should be healing more than anything, but he's upgraded anyway, which just leaves Indy down here. What? Oh, there is a sniper rifle. That's very confused. So Indy already has upgrades as well, actually. Okay. We won't get rid of them and replace them, just because someone's going to die and we'll need more <laughs> at some point. So I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Let's give it a crack. Oh, hang on. But armor. So at the moment, yeah, at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. Six two five. Give shield wall and a wrist mounted heavy weapon. That's 5535 five, one mobility, no heavy weapon. That allows them to mount a heavy weapon. And it's 6151. One. So it's not as much armor, actually, is it? Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. They both have a chance to panic mutons and vipers respectively, which is interesting, isn't it? I think we're going to have to give it to someone, aren't we? We made it, we should give it to someone. So let's take that out and give you your med kit back. And then one of these... Maybe Indy. Should take the serpent suit. I'm not entirely sure how much of this armor is new material and how much of a Tigan cut right out of the Viper itself. We haven't exactly tested it either, so good luck out there. Yeah. Yeah, you approve of that. So we'll change the grenade for a med kick. You're probably too far to use it anyway leaves us one war suit that we shall give to the other 
Grenadier. Oh, no, we've got two war suits. Of course we do. But I think we only want one. And we'll swap that over for the med kit. Nice. Because if we gave it to anyone else, they would lose their second slot. So we're already one med kit down. I don't really want to be two med kits down. Particularly. Particularly with only one specialist. Okay, let's give that a go. Let's give that a go, shall we? What I might do, actually, is just, just in case we do have to come out and reload the game from scratch, let's whack a save in there, just so we know we've got something to come back to. Could be useful. Could be useful. Right. Confirm Mexican mission. Go. That Viper suit is crazy. Cray Cray. Oh, I thought it was already going. I looked down at my phone for a moment, like a fool. Fool to myself. Dr. Tigan has been looking for new methods of intercepting the aliens' data on their latest operation. And it looks like he's found the location of an exposed terminal we could gain access to. I'm sure he has. Fortunately, Advent is already in position attempting to freeze the connection. Move in and neutralize all hostile contacts. Secure the area and recover that data. We have to stop their progress before it's too late. Ah, which means it's going to be a timed mission. A laddie timed missions. S15, this is Avenger. How much time? Is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Not very far away in eight turns. That's not too bad, really. Plus, we should be able to remote hack it once we get close enough with the specialist as well. Okay. No height necessarily, though, until we get to this building, which might not suit us very well. So let's start running forward and... Yep, first enemy. Two Archons and a son of a bitch is what I'm going to refer to that as. Going to Overwatch. So let's Overwatch people for the moment where we can. So we'd like people to move forward a little bit more than that, really. Who's this dude? Does that mean that's a faceless person? Or just that go near them will freak them out and they'll start running? Let's let's run up here. Rolling out. Okay, we're good, we're good. Hmm. Where were they there? Stepping off. Don't put them too close together. For obvious reasons, because of that stupid thing, but it's always hard to f remember sort of what range it has on it. We'll put you at the back here. Already there. And you ideally would be relatively close. Let's run you over there, shall we? Let's do this. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it gives us a good position to kick off next turn. So there's a big old robot around. Hopefully the Grenadier should be able to shred that. So they didn't move at all, did they? Interesting. So we could use the kill zone on JJ. Send that over there, which means we'll get all three of those next time. You've got the gas bomb, which is range or radius, which might be useful in that circumstance. Because Andy's the next closest and can't quite get all of them. So I think the gas bomb's the way to go. Don't want to use the acid bomb if we know that there's going to be a mechanized unit around. There is the rocket as well, but I think that shreds quite a lot of armor, doesn't it? So yeah, let's... Overwatch everyone else. Binda by. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. 
And then you lob a gas bomb in there, why don't you? Heads down! Good, 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 good start. They found us. How did they find us? Come on now, be lucky. Oh, beautifully done. I, I definitely got that one. I think you might have done, mate, yeah. Just a graze, but okay. A little bit of something. And a miss by a country mile. I'll get him next time. Oh, come on. You're a sniper. Yes. Yes. Two down. Beautifully done, team. Beautifully done. It's down. Three would have been better, but that's still one. That's still good. See, he'll do the old faithful. Any minute now. Here he goes. Oh, you got another. Oh, because they moved back into the cone. Ha ha ha. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, he's running away. In fact, okay. Well, that went quite well, I, th I thought. <clears throat> excuse me, I thought. <clears throat> so we can just start moving people up. <coughs> oh my word, excuse me, that caught me massively off guard. We need to start moving people up. Try getting our specialist within range in the next six turns, which should be fine. That is less fine. <laughs> That is even less fine again. But you have the old rocket launcher there, don't you? Where's that? Oh, nowhere near going to get that. Now, I think the rocket launcher shreds more. I just can't quite remember. Ah, oh, I can't remember. How many? We couldn't get all of them, could we? Well, I don't know, maybe. It's hard to tell if we get that guy, isn't it? We could definitely get three of them, though. All right, screw it, let's do it. That'll take the Archon out, at least. And it remove his overwatch as well, which is very useful. Okay. What kind of shot do you have? 81 on the mech's not bad, actually. 44, 81. Let's leave that for a second. Let's move someone else up briefly. Where can you go? You can go here and get a shot still. Okay, I'll go. And of course, you still have your acid bomb as well, don't you? Would you get that up there? You could get those two, could you? Oh, you couldn't get those two. Okay. We do have the rocket, which we could send just at that guy. Shred his armor. Yeah, only a 62% chance to hit him. You've got 58 on him, which isn't brilliant. If Big Ben runs up there. Only a 49 for Ben. You don't suppose you can get a grenade anywhere near, can you? Oh, he's quite near, but not near enough. Not near enough. You've got a terrible position, apparently. How can you get nowhere? Wow, okay. Uh, if we move you...
I mean, if you move you there, do you even get a shot? You get a shot. 16% chance. Waste of time, mate. You may as well just run up there. Get a little closer at least. Now you're the sniper. Alright, so we need to decide what we're going to do here then, don't we? We're going to rock it or we're going to go for the acid bomb? I think we're going to rock it. We're going to just in make sure we shred his armor. And you got a 58 on him and a 44 on him. Ben's got a 49 on him. And JJ's got an 81 on the mech. Well, let's do the 81 on the mech, shall we? Oh, come on. 81% chance. Shame on you people. Shame on you. Well, I was going to try and do something maybe a bit clever, but I don't think that's really an option at this stage. Let's just go for it, shall we? Oh, blimey, you hit that one. Good job, mate. Good job. That leaves just the two of them. One of them's half damaged. What is the other one? Well, it's an elite officer, so it's not a shielder, at least. Well, have a crack. See what happens. Well, that looked like a hit. Blimey, okay. Yeah, mate, yeah. That's probably fine. Is he going to do a rocket attack on us, do we think? Yeah. Of course he is. Just on the one guy, though. Now, you've got to go for that guy, surely. Oh, no, he's taking his turn. That was his turn. All right. 97 on the mech. 8 to 10 damage should take him out. Do it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good job, not indie. JJ. Good job, JJ. Well, you need to go somewhere, don't you? Should we start moving you up a little bit more, maybe? Or do we want to put you into cover there? Let's move you up just to there, shall we? Okay, I'll go. We could have done this rage strike then. Damn it, I didn't see that in time. Pretty terrible shots. We'll leave you for the moment. Water punch, if we move you up there. What kind of shot do you have? Also terrible. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. What do you have? 32. Terrible. Does anyone not have a terrible shot? Ah, uh, Ben, we need to move up a bit, don't we? I don't really want to put him that side. Hmm... Hmm... Let's just move him there for now. 27, another fantastic waste of time. So what I could do is use a grenade on him if I have one available. And you can slash him as well. And stay in cover. What kind of shot do you have? 43. Who, outside of those guys, is in grenade range, though? He doesn't even have a grenade. So I might... You had a terrible shot, didn't you? 32. You get a grenade over there? No. So the only person that can get a grenade over there is the guy that hit him the hardest anyway. Mild pain, isn't it? And I don't want to use up that rocket, and I don't want to use up that acid bomb necessarily. So let's use this grenade. The idea being we'll take out all that cover. means everyone else be able to hit him easier. That is the plan. 72 for you. Oh, my other sniper's already gone, hasn't it? 79. 71. 
72. 72. Well, you get first dibs then, mate. Well, that's not bad. Graze them at least. I would like the other guys outside of the sniper to go first because I want to try and move the sniper up a little bit. He has a free reload as well. Beautifully done. It's dead. It has to be dead. It's no, it's definitely dead, mate. Don't worry about it. Dry on ammo. So you don't have a free reload, do you? Do okay. In that case, let's just run you all the way up here. Temple. And you, do we want to move you there? Let's find out. Moving. Yeah, we're okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we've taken out a fair few so far. How close is this guy going to have to get, I wonder? Let's take a quick save in there. Let's move him there, because he needs to be relatively close. Closer still. Closer still is the answer. Let's start moving everyone else up. A fair bit of room over there. A little bit of room over there most of the room over there, so they're probably more likely to be over there, aren't they? So if we move him there... Or even here? Yeah, let's move him here. What's over there? I want to try and keep an overwatch on everyone, uh, I and I okay. might try moving the specialist forward, so if the enemies do arrive... Where can you grapple to? Is that going to be worth it, I wonder? Let's, uh, let's find out. And you just go into a pistol overwatch, mate. Oh, no, that's even, that's a proper overwatch, isn't it? You go into a proper overwatch, then. Nice. You've almost got your kill zone one back, which I do love. I really do like that move. That. Do you have a free reload? No, you don't. We probably should have reloaded you then, shouldn't we? No matter. Do you... You have a free reload. You're the one who might move. You haven't gone yet. Okay. Can't really get you up there too much, can we? Because I think it's all going to be in poison territory. It's a bit of a pain, so we might have to go for over here, possibly. It's a little further than I would have wanted you to go really over to the side. would like to keep him a bit closer to the building, seeing he's a melee attacker. Okay. Let's do an overwatch. You get a free reload. You can do an overwatch. Which just leaves you. So do I run you there? Do I run you there and take the risk? Now that's the closest one. Let's see what happens. Understood. Out. Oh, we're okay. Interesting. Menace one five. The advent network is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Get to that terminal. You're running out of time, mate. You're running out of time. So we have our kill zone back, which is lovely. How can you not get it yet? How close do you have to be? Huh. Well, this is a little riskier now. Um, let's move him there. Moving to position. That's what I was sort of afraid of happening. Objective position confirmed. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. OK, 
Okay, all I want you to do is hack the workstation, then you can pull back. Hopefully you can pull back if you survive. You should do. Uh, reduces the contact cost for a nearby region. That's good. That's even better. I'm not sure we'll get it, but you know. I uh, select which one you want. Well, let's just do... Can't select them both? No. Hmm. Let's give that one a go. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Pressing keys all over the place, mate. All right, sorry about that. Brief phone call interlude. So that was quite successful. I'm happy with that. Happy we saved two weeks on the stuff. Uh, you, oh, you got your thing back, haven't you? That'd be worth it, I reckon. Let's do that. You can't currently see anyone. You do have your rocket, though. Are you the next farthest up, pretty much? Yeah. I'm trusting you here. Let's move you there. So you can't get all the way in, but you can get that, and that might also Catch. destroy the roof above it. Let's find out. Oh, it didn't, but it did shred two armor off that, which is nice. I'm not too bothered by the one armor on the mutons, really. Let's move this guy here. Can you get a rocket in there? Of course you can, sunshine. Of course you can. Let's do that then. So all of its armor gone now, which is wonderful. You've got a shot on that guy there. Only 69, but it'll do. Well, what's this, in fact? Let's give that a go. Yes, so he's not concerned this turn. That's nice. And you still got a shot as well, actually. Oh. Beautifully done. This is probably not frozen anymore, but Friesen pulled him out of um, cover. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. He's gone. Oh, that's wonderful. That was wonderful. Right. Let's start moving. Who are you? Oh, you're the ranger. Andy, of course, it should look at the name. So you can't get anything from there. So I might run you like here then. Or shall I overwatch you? I might overwatch, actually. Oh, that's the last guy. Okay. Two damage from acid burn is lovely. Bit of a long... Oh, of course that's that. Oh, damn it. Oh, that looked like a hit. One more damage, though. Could be helpful. Oh, God. That's nasty. He's panicked. Wonderful. Is he shooting the gatekeeper? Oh, that would have been sweet. Oh, shooting all the way down there. Okay, well, you cannot do anything. So you just reload and do nothing else. Oh, you got a grenade saying that. Don't suppose. No. Let's not do anything with him yet, then. I'm going to whack a quick save in next. What I want to happen is everyone just to pummel this target here and take them out. 
Not sure whether that's feasible or not, so let's find out, shall we? 85's not bad, have a go. Wonderful. So I'm assuming if the gatekeeper goes down, the two sonically controlled dead people go down as well. Oh, does he get armor back for that? I can't remember. No, okay. Well, that's good. Only a 66. How much does it... Oh, let's do the plasma grenade. That'll take it out. No, 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 no. Well, I might have to reload that. We'll see how the rest of this goes, shall we, you idiot? Only a 50% chance. Okay. So now the two silently controlled ones should go down. Before you get too close. Negative weapons dry. Yep. Wonderful. And we've got some stuff to collect there, which is nice. Not sure you're gonna be much good up there, really, are you? There's absolutely no cover there though. But I suppose the worst he's gonna do is come out of panic, right? You might as well just reload. We need to move you forward. No, you'll probably be okay. Let's just reload you. Good to go. Indy can reach that. Coyote can't. Oh, wrong button. So, are oh, you just pistol overwatch? I'm going to take a bit of a gamble, and I'm going to run Indy down here. Might as well do it as far away as possible, I guess, to get that stuff, because I do really want it. Another autoloader, beautiful. And then you may as well fire your pistol at this thing. You can get a free reload next turn, so that's not too much of a bother either. What are you going to do, mate? Uh, let's just run you up there, I guess. Closing on target position now. Oh, you're not quite close enough for a slayish attack. May as well have a crack. Ah, a bit of graze damage. It should be definitely be dead next turn. Only need to do three damage to it, so we should be okay. He's still panicked. Run towards me at least. Come on now. Oh, no, nothing at all. Um, where is Indy? I'd like Indy. Oh, no, I'd like the lower grenadier to get it, actually, saying that. Which is you. So what do you currently have? 42, which is terrible. Let's try running you like there. If you say so. And then, oh, it's only 55. All right, I thought that'd go up a little bit. A little bit more, is to say. Beautiful. I'm guessing that's the last one. Because that's what, nine we've taken out? Confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Beautifully done, people. Beautifully done. No one even got injured. Oh, no, we did. Of course we did, yeah, from the rocket attack from the mech. Only two injuries. Zero kills. 11 out of 11 dead. Oh. Took eight turns, which is the exact number of turns we were given at the beginning of the mission. That was a wonderful mission, people. Well done, everyone involved. Big, big pat on the back for everyone there. That was wonderful. And nice showing for our new armors as well. I'd say new, but we've had the Viper one for ages, just not been using it. But that was a, a nice little showing of our armor. So the Rage, we didn't get to use the melee attack, but it did panic the Muton, which was really nice, actually. And the Viper suit also used the grapple and the freeze attack from it as well. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's see how long these injuries are going to take. I don't think they'll take too long.
Apparently it's going to be a long old load though. There we go, finally. Right. Come on now. Skip. Can't skip. Oh, there we go. Yeah, a couple of injuries. Oh, 20 days. Whew, take that back. Only one promotion as well, which is a bit of a shame. It is the specialist though, which is always nice. Let's go with the revival. Let's stick with the old Healy's. Okay, continue. That's that done. Got a Codex Brain, Illyrium Core Superior Autoloader, which is brilliant, and a bunch of corpses. Nice because we can sell them if we don't need them. Got all that intel, which is nice because means we can buy more stuff on the black market as well as using it to open up other locations. Forces under strength, but that's fine. Will restored and increased. Beautiful. The Advanced Warfare Center will be here fairly soon. That'll give us the ability to recover soldiers quicker, which is something we really need at the moment. Really, really need. Now, no one died, so I'm pretty sure we have enough soldiers in stock. 1 3, 1 3, 1 3, 1 3. 1 3, 1 3. Yes, we do. Perfect. Is it worth training up another one in each just in case? Is three enough? I think three is enough. I don't really want to go in because I have to sell stuff. Oh no, I think I could get one. I think they're 25 each, aren't they? Not entirely sure I want to do that, though. So, oh, no, go back. Go back. Back again, back again, save the game. Always save immediately after finishing the mission, just in case something goes wrong in the interim bit before the next one. Right. Uh, not now, alien allies could be useful, but first we want to go down here and finish this, don't we? Avenger plotting new course. Of course, all the ongoing things have got two-week delay on them as well, which is wonderful, because one of those would have completed the Avatar project immediately. Maybe a couple of them, depending on how big the overlap is on them. So, let's... Do, 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 do. Yeah, let's just do it. Cool. There is another engineer. I don't think we necessarily need an engineer, but we've got them. Oh, no, we do. Okay, yeah, we do have a need for them, because no one is staffed to the... Construction of the AWC, which is foolish. Oh no, they are. They 100% are. Why did you lie to me, game? Why did you lie to me? Then let's go get these alien alloys that have arrived. Wasn't anything else, was there? No, no, cool. One person's recovered. Oh dear. Oh dear. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We've got 20 days, which isn't too bad. We need to wait for one more person to recover. So let's finish this off. Let's just chill out while that's ticking down. Outcome of this research can only further our advantage, Beautiful. Commander. Central claims to have seen one so what does that give us? Gremlin Mark III, significantly increasing the hacking stack of all specialists. To be found once we it open. Specialist abilities are also substantially improved when he or she is accompanied by the support bot. That seems very useful. That seems very useful indeed. Uh, we have no research. We have no research at all. Commander, the shadow chamber is up and running. All we have to do now is put it to use. Are you doing it? I'm assuming you're doing it. You're not doing it. How do I make... No, not that. Nope, nope, nope. How do I make... Do I just go to sh Chain Shadow Project? Ah, yes. Resume. Accept. Awesome. While we're here, let's take a quick look and see what it is we need to get that little, little thing there. Can't see it there. Oh, there it is. 75 supplies. Not too bad, really. Not too bad at all. I might go and sell a couple of things to get that. So I think that would be very useful, particularly if we get two specialists in somewhere. Oh, we do have enough available soldiers now, actually, as well. Let's have a quick look who we've got. One grenadier, nine days till the next one, though, so that could be pushing it. Two rangers, two sharpshooters, and two specialists. Okay. 
Let's pop back in here. Let's finish off this. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Your beautiful. Okay. The aliens over the past month has been significant, Commander. So they're preparing hard, high alert if we and to eliminate the alien threat. Things on there. We'll go and get the supply drop before we do the uh, mission. This is now done. Ex examining the Codex brain. What's this going to give us? Another mission, I'm guessing. Commander, we're making progress piecing this thing back together. But it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling pain. Is it now? Because that looks painful. I'm sending you a new secret now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. Think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. What's going on? The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's I don't think it's as dead as you thought then. We've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. Forget the data. It's accessing the power core. Overriding my safety. Increasing power levels to tie in. Sever the connection. There. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The Codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Mm. Still, I believe I was one step ahead of it. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. Good job, team. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. We've got more of them. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. I mean, what did we lose, to be honest? New objective. A metal tube? I may as well start that going now. Our operation. Uh, yeah, whatever. Our people are standing by for your orders. In the field. Do it. The codex appears yep. as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effect. New objective added. Uh, okie dokie. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. Advanced Warfare Center. Okay, so we've got the Advanced Warfare Center. That's wonderful. I didn't really mean to say... Uh, go over here, but that's good. Let's stick that in there, which is awesome. So what does this do? Retrain re salt? Oh, so it retrains them to a different... Different specialization. We'll take a look at that later on, maybe, and see what that does. Okay, so I suppose it means if you've got like four captains and they're all grenadiers, you could retrain one to be a specialist or something. I would really, really like to get the supplies. Strategic resource located. Before anything else kicks off, we've got 15 days. This is going to take three days. Then we need to make it over there. Avenger plotting new course. So we should have lots of time. Beautiful, beautiful. I wonder what new staff are available. Oh, we can go to the black market and see what other upgrades we've got as well, couldn't we? Ah. Should we leave that for another time, maybe? Should we leave that for another time, maybe? We don't really need anyone at the moment, do we? Right, no, let's not do that. Let's just go over here. 
setting course for the Mexican Regional Tract. Once we've done this and we've saved the Avatar project again, we'll have to go down to the one in like Taiwan area. So what have we got here? We would like the Gremlin Mark III, please. Oh, we can just build more rage armor and stuff now and serpent armor, that's nice. Um, is it worth getting the fusion axe, I wonder? I don't really know how much better it is than the standard one. That's the problem. So as we could find out, couldn't we? If we were a little cheeky, we'd back out of this and do another save. Takes me so long to get supplies, I'm very hesitant to lose them in a foolish purchase. Which could go towards something a bit more useful. So let's just build one. And then see. I'm not planning on doing this right now, but I do just want to see what we have available. So what's this given us? Sharpshooter, sharpshooter, ranger, ranger, specialist, specialist. Probably not going to be brilliant. It'd go to future, of course. Let's see what it's like. So that's plus six, plus ten, plus one. Oh no, wrong place. That's five to seven and twenty. That's 6 to 8 and 20, so it is definitely better. And you can throw an axe. Wonderful. That's awesome. What else do we have there we could build? That's the pistol. Which of those is better? That one. And the bolt caps. I don't know if I'm so keen on the bolt caps or the... Need to reload it every time winds me up a bit. But let's take a look at the powered shadow keeper. We don't want any of these necessarily. Oh, there's the plasma bolt caster, right? Bet that would be very powerful. But let's just build this one a second. Again, not sure we'd keep it, but let's just see what it's like. So the beam pistol is three to six. The old mag is 3 to 4, that's 2 to 3, 3 to 6. 3 to 6, 15% critical and 10% aim. And it gives you an ability. Oh well, yeah, well we will keep that one then. There's no excuse for missed shots. So that's what we would be doing with pretty much with all of our supplies, isn't it? Yeah, that takes us down to basically nothing. So I think that's what I would do with it. Let me know if you think that's a good idea or not. I'm going to save the game and leave that there. Next time we'll do that whatever they call it, mission, and stop the Avatar project from counting down, and then we'll have to start making our way towards Taiwan, or wherever it was, to the south, or the north, sorry, west of Australia. Do we have enough? We have 257 intel. We would also need, I think... Where are we? Hello. You need to make contact with Australia then Indonesia. If we want to make contact with Australia, that's going to cost us just intel. Okay, so it doesn't cost us any. That's fine. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I thought I built a radio in Chile, but obviously if I did, I think maybe I lost Chile at some point, and that's why it's not there. Where is my nearest? South Africa is my nearest one. I think I had to build one there to get Chile back, maybe, didn't I? I can't remember. So that's going to cost 60, that's going to cost 90. We have Intel to cover it though, so that's not too... Or New Indonesia, that's what I was looking for. That's not too big of a problem. So we'll have a look at doing that after we've done this... Whatever they call it. Alien facility. Cool, cool, cool. What does it tell us is in it? Codex, elite tree poos, elite shield bearers, boo, sector pods and elite lancer, sector pods of pain as well. Cool, all right. As I said, I'm going to leave that there. So I hope you've enjoyed this latest part of XCOM 2. If you have, please do click the like button. It is really appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already and any comments, leave them down below. Particularly if you have any advice or suggestions, as always, that is hugely, hugely appreciated as well. 
Don't forget, streaming Wednesday at 6 p.m. So come along and see me play some Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're in full-on stealth mode at the moment, just stabbing everyone in the dark. And we also have a new horse, which is amazing. Can't remember what it's called. Warhorse something. Warhorse Jalapani. I don't know. Can't remember what it was, but it's going to be awesome, I'm sure. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Otherwise, I shall see you next time in XCOM 2. And as always, thank you very, very much for joining me.